This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. Weather manipulation known as geoengineering has been around for millennia and is just as controversial as ever. Now the U.S. government has recommended studies into two areas of geoengineering research. It's even talking about spraying sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere to form clouds and artificially cool the earth, as if this is something to be done in the future to keep global warming under control. This would be done in combination with a reduction in greenhouse gases, they say. It is not hard to imagine airplanes spraying chemicals all over the atmosphere. The mere talk of it by the government suggests that it may already be happening. But whenever man intervenes in nature, there are unintended consequences that create more problems. Suddenly stopping that spraying would have a devastating global impact on animals and plants, potentially even leading to extinction according to the first study on the potential biological impacts of climate intervention published by the British journal Nature, Ecology, and Evolution. Rapid warming after stopping geoengineering would be a huge threat to the natural environment and biodiversity, said study co-author Alan Robach of Rutgers University. If geoengineering ever stopped abruptly, it would be devastating, so you would have to be sure that it could be stopped gradually, and it is easy to think of scenarios that would prevent that. The idea behind this type of geoengineering would be to create a sulfuric acid cloud in the upper atmosphere that's similar to what volcanic eruptions produce, Robach said. The clouds formed after airplanes spray sulfur dioxide would reflect solar radiation and thereby cool the planet. Rapid warming forced animals to move. But even if they could move fast enough, they might not be able to find places with enough food to survive, the study said. Plants, of course, can't move reasonably at all. Some animals can move and some can't, Robach said. Starting geoengineering, then suddenly stopping it, isn't necessarily far-fetched. Imagine large droughts or floods around the world that could be blamed on geoengineering and demands that it stop. Can we ever risk that, Robach asked? Geoengineering takes its cue from the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines, which blasted more than 15 million tons of sulfur dioxide, 21 miles high, straight into the stratosphere. The stratosphere suspended those sulfur particles in the air worldwide, where the haze they created scattered and reflected sunlight away from the Earth and cooled global atmospheric temperatures nearly 0.7 to 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit in 1992 and 1993, before finally washing out, according to NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies estimates. But the airplanes spraying the sulfur dioxide would have to continuously fly into the upper atmosphere to maintain the cloud because it would last only about a year if spraying stopped, Robach said. The airplane spraying technology may be developed within a decade or two, he added. The people at the Tower of Babel were also into weather manipulation. They feared that another flood would come upon the earth and tried to sort out what made mega storms. Their experience prophetically illustrates what will take place in our day before the coming of the Lord. And as they would be able to ascend to the region of the clouds, they hoped to ascertain the cause of the flood. That's Patriarchs and Prophets, page 119. In other words, since they denied the existence of God, they would consequently try to understand the natural world through the eyes of secular science. Why would they want to understand the cause of the flood? Most likely, they would try to find a way to manipulate the weather to prevent another one. Today, men who do not acknowledge God try to understand and address climate in a similar way. And though technology is quite different than at the time of the tower, the underlying principle is the same. These modern Babel builders are still trying to reach unto heaven. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. Genesis 11, verse 4. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching. Thank you.